In this electrolysis experiment, we're asked to determine how many grams of lead will be deposited from a solution containing lead two ions. The current is 0.995 and is applied for 30.9 minutes. The first thing we need to do is calculate the total charge in coulombs using the current and the time in seconds. Current is in the units of coulombs per second. So we multiply the coulombs per second by the total amount of seconds in the 30.9 minutes, and we end up getting 1,771 coulombs. The next thing we do is we calculate the moles of electrons using Faraday's constant, and that gives us 0 0.0183 moles of electrons. So the 0 0.0138 moles is of electrons, not of lead. That's a real important distinction you want to make when you're doing these kinds of problems. The third step is to calculate the moles deposited using the mole ratio of electrons to the metal formed. So let's look at the half reaction for the reduction of lead 2 to lead solid. For every one mole of lead ion, two moles of electrons are required. So therefore, we're going to use the 0 0.0183 moles as follows. We're going to divide that mole amount by 2 to get the moles of lead. And finally, we convert the moles of lead deposited to grams of lead. Here we are asked to determine the grams of silver that will be deposited from a silver solution with a current of 1.21 amps or 1.21 coulombs per second that is applied for 31.1 minutes. First, let's calculate the total charge in coulombs using the current coulombs per second and the time. We end up with 1,782 coulombs. Second, let's calculate the moles of electrons using Faraday's constant. 0 0.0185 moles of electrons. Third, calculate the moles of silver deposited using the mole ratio of electrons to the metal formed. Here in the reduction of silver ion, one electron is required. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio between moles of electron and moles of silver deposited. And finally, we'll calculate the grams of silver deposited using the molar mass of silver. Rather than determining the amount of metal deposited, here we are asked to determine the time required to deposit a certain amount of metal. How many seconds are required to deposit 0.285 grams of cadmium using a current of 0.956 amps? First, calculate the moles of cadmium deposited converting the grams of cadmium to moles of cadmium. Second, we're going to determine the moles of electrons required for this reduction. So we need to take a look at the cadmium 2 plus reduction half reaction. We see that two moles of are required for every mole of cadmium ion. So moles of cadmium metal, same as moles of cadmium ion. So we convert the moles of cadmium metal to moles of electrons considering the 2 to 1 ratio in this half reaction. Now we're going to convert the moles of electrons to coulombs using Faraday's constant. And finally we'll calculate the time by dividing the coulombs by the inverse of the current or the reciprocal of the current. How many seconds are required to deposit 0.28 grams of chromium from a solution that contains chromium 3 plus ions using a current of 1.06 amps. First, convert the grams of chromium by dividing it by the molar mass of chromium. Second, calculate the number of moles of electrons by using the mole ratio of electrons to the metal. Here, the reduction half reaction for chromium 3 plus to chromium solid requires three electrons for every one mole of chromium ion. We use that ratio and calculate 0 0.0162 moles of electrons then we calculate the total charge in coulombs using Faraday's constant. And finally, calculate the time in seconds by multiplying the coulombs by the reciprocal of the current, or essentially dividing the coulombs by the value of the current. 